As someone watching from the outside, beyond the human catastrophe, if there was one thing that stood out apart from anything else from the devastating 12 year Syrian civil war, for many, it would be this. Syrian temple built nearly 2,000 years ago is now a pile of rubble after the terror group ISIS rigged it with explosives and blew it up. Amateur video purportedly shows Islamic State militants carrying out a mass execution in Palmyra's ancient amphitheater. This ancient desert kingdom has a history dating back to 2500 BC. Palmyra, under the guise of fearsome leader Queen Zenobia, grew to conquer vast swathes of the Eastern Roman Empire and become what was the centerpiece of a short-lived empire that was once one of the largest on earth. Palmyra was once known as one of the best preserved ancient cities on planet earth. That was until 2015. Although the destruction of this place was on a scale like no other, it's since been reopened to the public, and despite the fragile peace situation in the area, there are ongoing efforts to restore this incredible city to its once former glory. With that being said, it felt more important than ever to visit the ancient wonder, to marvel at the beauty that remains, as well as the destruction heaped upon it. So we headed east, across Syria, into the desert and towards the Iraqi border, stopping for a few photos with our guides and fellow travelers along the way, before arriving in the town of Palmyra. ISIS killed uh, the man who have all secrets of uh, Palmyra, Khaled Asad. Yeah. Yes, uh, they killed him and hang him uh, on the column. The ancient site of Palmyra sits on the edge of the modern town and almost straight after driving through the entrance, the scars of the last 10 years are everywhere to be seen. The scale of the site is just mind-blowing. We drove for around 15 minutes to the other side of this ancient wonder, to what was one of its most famous sites. Welcome to the place that should be being talked about alongside the great cities of this region, alongside the Alexandrias, the Luxors, the Pyramids of Giza, the Petras, but unfortunately it is more often than not these days spoken alongside the cities of Mosul, Homs. This was once one of the greatest wonders of the Middle East. It was one of the most beautiful sights to see here in Syria and tourists would flock here from all over the region. Unfortunately now there's not much left and uh, the story behind that most people know. Well we start from here. This is Tower Torps. Yeah. And we start from here because Palmyrian people believe in the life started after death. ISIS destroyed all this is Tomp. Our group, along with our guide for the day, Tambi, headed down into one of the tombs that was used by ISIS as a shelter during the war. Tambi was showing us the photos of how this place used to look. It was absolutely full of incredible sculptures, but most of which unfortunately now was completely destroyed by ISIS. We discovered this is all ISIS. I think ISIS is starting to wear here like more rather than going well. Now we walk where ISIS walk. ISIS has 
that beautiful rooms here and I guess The scale of this place is just unbelievable. Welcome, you are now my queen. A beautiful theater and ice is destroyed for that. From here, maybe when Zanubia that time, come from right straight to here, stop and use this gate. If we go directly in the middle, that is us. You try, come with me. We try to walk there and we will see where we found us. Okay? And that's okay. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So? <gasps> so when I come to here, just I try to imagine how people living here and I back to that time and I sit here and I think myself I'm living here now mm -hmm. so I'll try to read I search about uh, maybe many photos to, mm -hmm. to, to try imagine how, how people living here it's an amazing city great city glory I, I, it is I glorious exactly As we spent the day meandering around Palmyra, taking in the incredible sites that are still intact and those that fell victim unfortunately to the brutal civil war, the intense mix of emotions were difficult to get our heads round. At one point, you're completely gobsmacked by the beauty and then you turn the corner and all you see is destruction. I can't imagine the emotions that these guys must feel every time they come here, probably even now. So Did you know that the place is so big? I know, but I don't imagine that. Do. It's different, isn't it, when you get here? Huh? Yeah. yeah. So happy, sad, uh, mixed feelings. Yeah. This place is, I, uh, I was uh, visit from a long time.
شكرا تفضلت على راسي تفضل لا لا شكرا Is it the best shawarma you've ever had or is it the best shawarma you've ever had? <laughs> it is the best shawarma I've ever had. What about the bit that's on your t-shirt? Just the best part. I should have saved it for later. I'm so sorry <laughs> for talking in my mouth for all that. But that's me. <laughs> After a whirlwind day and tucking into our shawarma, we pulled out of Palmyra and back across the desert towards the city of Homs, where the day was about to get crazier. But we'll save that for the next video. So, on that note, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bravo! You made the sun come out! <laughs>